Hello guys and welcome to a new crypto video of the most beautiful music instrument there is the crypto violin guys I hope you all have an amazing day the market is in green and I have some amazingly bullish updates for you guys I hope you're ready we're gonna talk about uh, the loss of developments we're gonna talk about Luna I'm gonna talk about regulatory clarity and about Gary Gensler I hope you're ready before we dive into the bullish content I wanted to show you this video of my previous video may of 8th and in this video i told everyone that it was completely normal for xrp to dip 77 percent 70 percent 54 percent 58 percent and that if we would dip from the regional top to the support line here that would mean a 65 percent dip and actually that would mean a dip of 57 percent and actually we dipped a little bit lower but i also told you in this video that it was completely normal for xrp and that it would recover very soon and make a 300 percent rise to two dollars 25 cents in my humble opinion okay because we are gonna break out of this pattern this downwards pattern and then off we go but it is completely normal for xrp to make this downwards price action for example here it dipped 52 percent then it recovered it dipped again 71 percent and then again it recovered it dipped 38 percent then it again recovered and it dipped 50 percent and then again it recovered and it dipped yes you know 63 percent but guys what i am planning to do uh, because i uh, have been a holder of xrp but i'm gonna do something radical and uh, that is i'm gonna trade my way up here because i actually wasted five years of waiting for xrp and i ended up with the same bag and for example if you would have ten thousand dollars invested in xrp around let's say beginning of 2021 that would be january 2021 then you could buy uh, uh, 45,000 xrp and after this big uh, pump if you would sell at a normal price of one dollar 36 because there is this support line and resistance line that got broken then uh, you would have one dollar 36 would have a beautiful $61,800 and here the beautiful retest at the support at 51 cents then again uh, you could have bought 121,000 XRP you would have accumulated but afterwards you could have easily sold at one dollar here because it got this support line got broken numerous times so you sold at one dollar you would have one hundred twenty one thousand dollars and then uh, you could have bought back here at 54 cents or even here at the retest of 39 cents of course guys 39 cents that would bring a total of 310 thousand uh, xrp so with ten thousand dollars you would have bought three hundred ten thousand xrp so i invested way more way 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 more in xrp and actually i have way less of three hundred eighteen thousand xrp so what does this mean guys this means that if you're gonna trade a bag here this means that xrp is the best crypto for trading okay and we have been investing and holding of course investing and holding is good if you are new to crypto and you don't want to lose your holdings and you don't want to fomo in and you don't want to be uh, scared oh because it's rising help and i sold just everything what should i do and then you fomo back into into the top that's how you lose money actually but guys i think i will uh, play it uh, very wise and then uh, play these levels uh, very good maybe we can get one more dip but I, I don't expect it i think afterwards we can go to two dollars 25 cents there is yes here yes here here definitely and here definitely that are very very important lines 
well guys so i think two dollars 25 cents even two dollars 25 cents 24 cents is highly possible but we're gonna trade our way around because xrp never does this bam no it trades itself to those levels so this means we can double or triple our bags easily with xrp but we have to be at the right mindset and i'm gonna teach you how i'm gonna allocate small percentage of my bag into uh, trading and i'm gonna share it with you where i buy and sell so you guys can follow me that's what i wanted to cover uh, now on to the news and different juicy content i hope you're ready let's have the juicy merch content for you today okay jeremy hogan tweeted the following john deaton is marching into court the sec wants an expert witness to give testimony about what xrp holders were thinking when they bought xrp deaton represents 67k actual xrp holders and wants to present what they were actually thinking so of course the sec opposes it well deaton wants to file a brief in a re Daubert motion related to an expert hired by the SC to discuss the motives of XRP purchases. This means that Ripple is trying to strike the witnesses altogether because his opinion has no reasonable scientific basis. It's a big motion because if the SC is relying on an expert to say that reasonable XRP purchasers bought XRP relying on Ripple to increase its price and the expert is stricken, how does the SC prove its case? especially if ripple has a hundred xrp holders saying otherwise so it's very strange very strange because uh, the sc has a witness that's telling you know what uh, xrp holders were relying on the efforts of ripple to increase the price of xrp well 67,000 actual xrp holders are telling the sc otherwise and are joining this lawsuit against the xrp so but the sc has an expert witness without even talking to one single xrp holder so this is very strange eleanor Tourette uh, from fox business tweeted the following breaking attorney john e deaton has filed a motion letter asking the judge in the sec versus ripple case to let him write a brief on behalf of the 67,300 xrp holders who have been hurt by the lawsuit the move comes following recent testimony from an expert SEC witness who gave a report on what information reasonable XRP holders were relying on when they bought the token. Deaton says he bets the witnesses gave testimony without interviewing a single XRP holder. More to come. So uh, this is Tom Emmer, congressman for Minnesota, uh, Minnesota's 6th district and he is talking here at the security token summit he stated the president excluded gary gensler but the gary gensler didn't listen to the president and is going for a power grab and is trying to regulate this whole crypto industry but the president didn't tell him to do that let's watch this i the concept of getting all of these agencies to actually start talking about how they might function together is a good thing I, I also love, and forgive me, this is a little chip on my shoulder, maybe as an old hockey player taking a shot as I go by, but Gary Gensler was uh, excluded, as you might recall, in the order. They did not give him any job at all. Uh, unfortunately, he's shown he doesn't care. He's just moving forward without any uh, uh, concept of working together with the administration. I don't know if you noticed, he just doubled the size of his cyber unit and he's going to use them. I think he added 20, so almost doubled it. He's up to 50 enforcement 50, that's folks. Correct, that's correct. And you better expect they're going to start coming after uh, uh, crypto folks uh, in the very near future. But so, so you're saying the Gensler is not on that working group, that interagency working group? The working group? group did not assign any specific uh, uh, obligation or duty to the SEC. So didn't sign anything to the SEC, but Gary Gensler is just forcing enforce but gary gensler is just putting out enforcement actions and trying to regulate this space it's very strange then the next thing i want to show you here gary gensler admitting to work with consensus while at mit we knew that though hashtag xrp very interesting guys let's watch this 
We have an a initiative, and we stand these up at MIT from time to time. We have an initiative where 12 financial firms have funded a group called FinTech at the Computer Science and AI Lab. And, and it's a way to a group of companies to jointly fund sponsored research. And it's kind of interesting. We were able in our first year to work with these uh, uh, dozen companies from around the globe. I mean, they range uh, from uh, uh, Citibank, Citibank to, to Consensus. Can you trust anyone who wears those socks with those shoes? I cannot trust this guy. He's harming US investors, just only looking at the socks. He's not trustable, guys. Uh, and he is in, he, he knew what was going on at Consensus and that's why they gave Ethereum a free pass and that's why Gary Gensler is continuing to close his eyes for the XRP holders. Very bad, very bad. Then, last but not least, guys, this guy is Tim Draper and he's also talking at the Security Token Summit and uh, he also, well before uh, the last of XRP uh, lawsuit was brought against Ripple, he let everybody know that big banks, if they cannot hold you back, they're gonna sue you. So he knew Ripple was going to be sued. I think he knew uh, big companies were going to be sued just to slow them down. And here is something very juicy that he is telling us. Can I just jump on the word trust? Yeah. So uh, over the weekend, Ethereum's co-founder Vitalik Buterin, you know him, um, yeah. he came out and said to reestablish faith in stable coins, he believes that Terra should make the smaller holders whole again, in sort of as if they are an independent FDIC of sorts. Uh, would that fix the confidence problem that we have right now? No, in fact, I don't have confidence in Ethereum because he is printing more Ethereum, just the way a government prints more money. So you're going to see inflation and you're going to see Ethereum drop in value because he's printing this stuff. And and so I, I'm not sure I would follow his lead. Wow. So Ethereum is being printed to an infinite and then Vitalik is trying to play the good guy. Well, I don't buy it for a second. I don't buy it for a second, guys. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment in the comment section if you believe in XRP and if you believe that we are holding the future. I'm extremely bullish. I hope I made you also bullish and I hope to see you in the next juicy bullish video. Stay positive, stay bullish. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.